NBC Montana Morning Sprint. Everything you need to know to start the day. Sponsored by Bitterroot Furniture. Drive a little, save a lot. Yes, time for your morning sprint. Brooke Foster is standing by with weather. In our news today, the Department of Transportation is to start clearing trees on Highway 93 near Whitefish to get ready for upcoming construction next year. The trees will be coming out from Mountainside Drive and then about three miles away to just west of Livermore Flats. The crews will be taking them out for several months. And then, as I say, that actual road work is scheduled for next year. One man is in custody after a foot chase and a search. A post says that first troopers help a car that had lost uh, that was out of gas near Anaconda and then later pulled it over outside Butte. Three passengers, it says, got out and the driver ran. Officers found out the car was stolen. Then deputies found the vehicle had slid off the interstate near the north interchange. They found the driver had a nationwide warrant out of Mississippi for a parole violation and for having a gun. The driver ran into a field. Officers, including Dillon police, searched and eventually found him. A 21-year-old is dead after a mountain lion attacked two brothers in the Lake Tahoe area in California. The other 18-year-old brother is recovering from multiple surgeries for severe injuries to his face and other areas. The mountain lion attacked the two in a remote area and separated the two during the attack. Later, deputies euthanized the cougar near the site. Doctors expect the teen to make a full recovery. A Bozeman man is improving. Doctors diagnosed Daryl Cherry with stiff person syndrome three years ago. The progressive neurological disorder affects one in a million people. Cherry was one of three in the U.S. selected to get special treatments in Seattle. Now he is seeing big improvements and feeling close to normal. All right, we do have some snowy images of Homestake Pass from the Department of Transportation. We've got ice on the roadways throughout Phillipsburg, Anaconda, Butte, and Whitehall. Same south of Belgrade, down through Big Sky and toward West Yellowstone. Missoula area seeing scattered snow and ice, and uh, now so is parts of the Bitterroot Valley. Up north, we have ice throughout Kalispell and up toward Whitefish and Columbia Falls. Well, the time is 6.58 on a Monday morning. You're going to have to bundle up. It is definitely a cold start. 16 right now in Kalispell, 21 in Bozeman, 18 in Butte, 28 right now in Missoula. It feels like it's in the single digits right now in Kalispell and Butte. We still have a couple of showers out there, at least around southwest Montana. Three-hour radar loop shows showers mainly stayed along the I-90 corridor this morning. As we head into the afternoon, same general area. Could see a little bit of light snow, so Missoula, I wouldn't be too surprised if we couple, see a couple of isolated showers popping up just in time for the evening drive. Another round of wet weather is forecast for your Tuesday. Highs will hit 52 Wednesday in Missoula. Rain and snow Thursday. Looking ahead into your Easter weekend, weekend mix of sun and clouds with our high temperatures in the low 50s will be in the 60s next week for Bozeman next 10 days for you below normal with highs in the 30s and 40s we jump back into the 50s Wednesday and Thursday with a wintry mix of rain and snow on tap Thursday afternoon and evening looking at your Easter weekend highs will be a few degrees below normal on Saturday we'll bring in a rain snow mix for your Sunday all right, thank you so much, Brooke. NBC Montana is back tonight with your complete news and weather coverage at 5, 6, and 10. We'll have detailed forecasts for Kalispell, Missoula, Butte, and Bozeman. And today we hope to find out more about those Jersey barriers that mysteriously arrived in Bozeman.